Hey, good to see you here. Welcome to Dawson Creek in the Philippines. Uh, my name is Chris, actually. Just I don't think I've mentioned that before. I'd like to thank all our new subscribers for for uh, subscribing and uh, all the likes we're getting and for sharing. You guys have been great. Um, this is the end of the Sorry Sorry store build. Um, but I have got lots and lots and lots of stuff coming, so stick around for that. This is only the beginning, guys. And uh, so we're going to get things started here right away. But first, I'd like to say I am Buntag to the Philippines. And uh, good morning to Canada. Good morning to everybody else. It's great to see you guys here. Um, so we're going to get things started here. So we'll see you on the other side. All right. <laughs> Don't forget, thumbs up. There you are. Welcome to this side of my intro. <laughs> All right. Well, the day after, on the third day, actually, we uh, I started painting the outside, doing the primer work on the on our sorry sorry store. While the the boys were in inside doing the shelving for it, putting up all the shelving, getting all that done, and uh, everybody thought it was the painting was finished. And they said, "Oh, that's looking so nice." And I tried to explain, well, this is just a primer coat, and everybody was going, a what? Isn't it paint? <laughs> but that's okay. Um, we had uh, Ray's son was in the Sorry Sorry store as well. He was helping out. He was straightening nails as we were using some uh, um, older nails. They pulled out of some boards as well. And uh, shelving turned out really well. And uh, the second they finished hammering, was in there putting up stock already. <laughs> Didn't take long. Yeah, it started filling up in a hurry. All the stuff you need in Sorry Sorry Store is uh, everything the community needs. You know, if they if they ask for something you don't have it, well, we make sure we pick it up the next time we're in town so that we have stock. And we were selling eggs and salt and brown sugar, cooking oil, uh, Tandawai rum, uh, Imperador, brandy, uh, Red Horse beer, <laughs> and three different kinds of rice, one uh, cheaper one to the more expensive one, uh, plus pellets for the pigs feed, and uh, oh, I could go on and on and on and on. There's a lot of stuff, shampoo, uh, laundry detergent, pretty much everything that they need. And uh, we had a weigh scale there too, so we could weigh out the rice and sell it by uh, by quantity. So that worked out real well. Yeah. But by nightfall, we had uh, had the store pretty much completely filled up, set up, and everything hanging over there. You had to duck wherever you went because there was stuff hanging everywhere. <laughs> but that was all cool. By the way, if you made it this far and you like my video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. It's a good time to do it. Before you forget, like me, I always forget. <laughs> so anyway, hope you enjoy the rest of the video. And we got a picture of, uh, of the store. And I like this picture because this, this was taken closer to Christmas time. And uh, you can see the vents on the top of the store by the roof there, just above our, our Christmas decoration there. We had... Uh, bamboo slots up there so we got some airflow through there. It's pretty good as a little design. And uh, yeah. We could open the big door for the for the front window of the store from the inside with the rope and just pull it all up and pull on the rope and the door would open and uh, tie it off inside. Worked out real well. And of course we have our shot of our super heavy-duty security fence here. 
we didn't need very much security there. It's, you know, it's, it's really safe in the Philippines. Once you get to know your community, everybody looks after everybody. Everyone has a problem, everyone comes to your aid, and we never had ever had to have that happen. So it's just a, a very safe country, and if people have a misconception of what it's really like there, and you need to go there and see for yourself, uh, because it's you, you can tell people it's safe, and they, they go, yeah, 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 they just don't believe it, you know, and uh, it's sad because it's... Uh, Philippines has a bad reputation for not being safe because of some bad shit going on over there and uh, in the past. And every place changes. There's unsafe places all over the world. In every every major city, there's places you just don't go because it's just not safe. You know, it's the same as anywhere in the world. There's places you just don't go because it's not safe. In the Philippines, it has bad rep only on one island. There's 7,000 islands to choose from. You don't need to go to that one island. But that one island is getting a lot better now, and it's pretty much safe as well already. You know, gee, it's beautiful, beautiful country. And you, if you guys haven't been there, you need to check it out. Honest to God, it's, it's gorgeous. I got a shot here of, uh, of some of the greenery where you can see our our store through the leaves. I thought it looked kind of cool and there's our clothesline as well. <laughs> you know, nothing better than having clothes dried out in the fresh air. Honest to God, it just gives them such a nice scent. It's really, really nice. I like it. And uh, we had a really heavy rain one day. It kind of tested our roof out pretty good and never did leak. It was great, great job there we did on the roof and uh, kept the rain from falling in front of our store so we could actually walk out the door but it was a little bit of a low area though so we had a little bit of a river running around our store <laughs> but you can see the rain coming down it's so hard it's just bouncing off the ground but you know all good things come to an end and I was there six months and I absolutely loved it it was just a great time and we were able to survive off our store because I didn't have a lot of money so it was kind of a test to see how we could survive over there for me and uh, it worked. We, we were able to survive off our store. Um, sorry, sorry, sorry can get you by. But, you know, in all honesty, it's a very hard business to run because once you have a store like that, you're kind of tied to the store because you can't go anywhere and you don't make a lot of money. If you buy something for 10 pesos, you, you can only sell it for 11 pesos. So you make a very tiny little amount of money. It's not a big money maker. It's a way to survive, and that's pretty much all there is. Um, we never got to go very many places because we were minding the store all the time. And that was the sad part. But you know what? We got to know the community a lot, and we had a lot of fun. You know, I could sit outside here and, and uh, you know, with the guys and, and have a few beer. And, you know, we had a good time. I really liked the people around us. It was a really, really, really good time. But uh, like I say, the Sorry Sorry store is good to get you by, but it's not a great business. If you want to make money in the Philippines, this isn't the way to do it. If you want to survive and you're willing to just stay at home and do nothing else, this is a great business for that, you know? And you get to meet everybody, you get a lot of friends, and it's, and it's kind of nice that way. But myself, I like to explore and uh, move around a lot, so... You know, this uh, this time when I get to the Philippines, I'm going to be doing a lot of traveling. I want to see the country more. So, and I'm single now. Again, it's uh, things didn't quite work out for us, but that's okay. That's life, you know. And uh, still had a great time. And I uh, wouldn't change anything for the world. But we did have some really, really good happy days there, and that's why our store is called Happy Days. Sorry, sorry store, and uh, it was. It was great days, good time, love the Philippines, and uh, if anybody wants to build a store, well, hey, this is the way you do it. Hey, you made it, awesome. All right, I'd like to thank you for uh, for sticking around, and uh, don't forget, I've got uh, lots of stuff coming. This is only the beginning, guys, and in our next uh, few episodes here, I've got uh, uh, 
some footage on our uh, big snowstorm that we have here just recently back on second which I still haven't gotten to but I'm going to try to catch up on that and get that out for you and uh, hopefully in the next two or three days so uh, stick around don't forget to like and share it's free okay and give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and uh, see you next time